Yo, before this video starts, I would just like to say, uh, the first part of this video is really gonna be like just uh, me and my kids really kicking it. You'll just see me taking them to it could be this, uh, amusement park. Just spend a little time with them, man. This is just the beginning of where I've been, and this will kind of just lay out what I've actually had going on for over a couple past couple months, man. It's just this is just pretty much just the intro to it. But we're gonna get to the riding footage uh, here soon. Here, uh, you, you, and it'll really show you exactly what's all been going on and give you a bird's eye view, and I'll break it down to you later on in the video. But it's a long story, but it's kind of a short story at the same time. It makes sense in the end, as long as you just stay tuned and just watch it. But man, if you want to, man, you can fast forward in the video. And uh, you can speak to the prices. Okay, quick, cool, cool. I'll catch you later on in the video. Capital cycle, and then we've been the um five star dropped off Sonic, so now we're about to go to um Rick's. Why are you looking at this thing? So yeah, man, we live down here at the compound. We're really technically not the compound. Where you see us test all the bikes at, and right here in this field, we've seen Braylon and his uncle Russ Ball, which is my brother. They, <laughs> they went head to head on the bikes, but now Braylon has a new bike. So, you know, the first thing first, what we have to do is make it our own. And as you've seen other video, uh, when it first came out, it was, we called it Kryptonite. So the first thing we, we want to do is put our own little finishing touch on it. It's the uh, KX100. As you all know, I went I went a little bigger. I could have went to the 85, but I went decided to go to the 100 for him because he's been stretching out his growing like no other. So the first thing, first thing we're going to start off doing is adding a little added touch of the spoke covers, man. You see already, he wanted to go with the blue, so we decided to do a little blue. So uh, 
we're gonna get started with that there and uh, catch up with you in a second. Later. You hurt? Did it hurt? Yeah. Skin? Yeah, really, yeah, but I didn't even finish a few now I spoke skin zone. But yeah, it happened to me one time too, my boy. Happened to the best of Oh, oh well. You gotta rebuild. Repeat. And do it all over again. But anyway. So had a little bit of a dunk, a mule kick. We're on the back, so uh, back to the shop we go. Um, new handlebars on the way. Handlebars might not need, need to be on the way, but uh, probably more than likely get a new fairing kit and recover everything and bring new plastic, so it's no problem, man. Uh, I'm just kind of scared if it might may have uh, bent in the sub frame. I'm not exactly sure, but it seems to be pretty good. Uh, not sure, I won't know until I really get a chicken ready to see. So uh, let's load back up and let's go back to the shop. So, yeah, we're back. So we made it back to the house. Got a chance to get the bike unloaded. Got it out of the truck. Now, man, we're gonna sit down. We're gonna try to assess the damages. It wasn't too much. I think me, me myself, person, I think it's more so just cosmetics more than anything. It's nothing really like mechanical. But in the same sense though, I was already gonna give him a full makeover, which consisted of new fairings, a uh, brand new graphic kick and everything, just to really just give it its own little touch like I do with all my bikes. And also I wanted to do with him. So I'm gonna give him a, Oh, give them a, a totally different look, man. And so, uh, that's what we're doing right now. So right now, man, I'm just going to completely just strip the bike of all this plastic. See is all, exactly what was all damaged in the accident. So, uh, right now I'm going to do you a little time lapse of me just busting it down and just getting ready to do what I do. So, uh, yeah. So yeah, man, we've completely disassembled everything. And for the most part, man, I, from what I can see, everything seems to be still in working order. And, and seems to be free of any, like, physical damage. I thought that the silencer might have been, been a little bit, and I think it, it may be. I think it is still kind of twisted a little bit. I really can't tell from right here, but I know by the time I put the new plastic on, as you can see, I stripped down everything completely. I'm gonna go back with all new um, fairings and um, fenders and, uh, I'm gonna just do a complete uh, makeover of the whole bike, man. It was, it was really his first time really out on the bike, man. And a roller coaster ride. I mean, it happened to the best of us, you know. It's all part of riding, like I always try to explain to him. And um, this is to anybody that's out there, just a rider, new rider, young rider, old rider, whatever. Don't never let the bikes break your spirit. I mean, it's all part of it. You're gonna ride these bikes, you gotta understand the same way as you're celebrating the, the victories, the wins, the, the wheelies, whatever it is that you may do falls and accidents are gonna happen it's just part of it it's just it's just all collateral damage so you just have to understand it man it's just gonna be you're gonna have them there nobody's exempt this is nothing like taxes so nobody is completely exempt of wrecking nothing so don't get down on yourself man you know it happens to the best of us Nothing. but like anything else man y'all get up y'all get back on them bikes and y'all continue to keep riding don't let it just discourage you from riding you know what i'm saying so you got to stay focused but right now, man, it seems like we in the clear, so only thing we can do now is just order the parts. We can get those on the way. But right now, man, I got to get out of here. As crazy as the weather may be, we have a race tomorrow, and it's, as you can see, it's cloudy outside, and I have a hood on, and tomorrow is supposed to be like 60, 70 degree weather, and we'll be outside the truck. That's it. You won't give me nothing. It did my keys three, but won't give me nothing. Come on to the other boat, man. Stop banging, man. Take on goddamn BA. So now clip what happened now. Now clip now. You supposed to be the man right now on the top side. Now you better get your head to it now. What it gonna be? Hey, I gotta get on the right side of the road too, man. I ain't got no damn brakes. I gotta be able to just coast on around the curve and then that be probably we probably gonna go all the way to the nursing home for a stop. Clip got some good bears in this summit. Huh? I got some good bears in this summit, Clip. I'm for real. That motherfucker, that, that bitch won't stop. What are you gonna goddamn be? Come on, man, help him get it on, man. I am Clipper, hell. Follow my boy out. Oh, yeah. I am Clipper, hell. Yeah. Hey, man, you gotta get on the right side of the road, man. 
Yeah, yeah, man, fix the son of a dentist. Yeah, they so goddamn clue. You know what that? I hope he had to help you fix the motherfucker dentist. Yeah, so. You seem like one strain, though. Hold on. <laughs> Did I turn the bitch on or off? Yeah, you turned it on. Yeah, you turned it on. Yeah, you Here they go again! Here they go again! Yeah, so as you seen, man, uh, this is my 2014 DRZ 400, man. I recently bought it on Facebook Marketplace. I know I get a lot of questions. A lot of people ask me, where do I get my bikes from? I typically get them all off Facebook Marketplace. If I don't go to the dealership and get them, that's pretty much the best place you can find a, a good deal of any bike. But I just always say, if you're going to buy them off Facebook Marketplace, man, always, I repeat, always do your research and just look the bike over from here to toe to make sure you're getting a good deal and you're just not about to get screwed over. And <laughs> What the hell did you just say? And some other shit. But anyway, it's 2014 DRZ 400. Actually, man, I sold a Grom and placed it with this because it has more power, it's more practical. It's more so like a street-driven dirt bike to cut down all the confusion. In my area, a lot of the cops and stuff are cracking down on the riding the bikes on, on the highways because, as you know, you know it's not legal in Georgia, right, to ride them on the highways. So with that, that being said, man, I decided to take a different route. And I just bought a bike that was street legal. It was only the, the most practical thing to do, so why not? I actually wanted it to always do a lot of exploring with my bikes and stuff but i wasn't always able to take them on the road like that because a lot of times they're illegal and they're not street street legal bikes so with that being said so i had to take another approach the grounds was fast enough for me so i decided to buy this so this is where we at now so that's what you got to do you feel me without no further ado man let me get up out of here i got a couple other things to update you guys on um but... hey what up yeah so yeah man that's the video um so we're back man so what's been going on lately with me man i decided to take a little time off from youtube man um actually i just had a lot going on in life it wasn't nothing like really kind of depressing. It was just kind of like, I just decided just to walk away for fresh and just like reset and really just get back motivated and get back into my groove of things and really to get back on it full fledged. But we're back here now. We're now better than ever. I know you heard me say that a couple of times, but at within the process, I was looking for motivation or, or inspiration or whatever to keep me going. And I really didn't have that. And it really wasn't nothing that was just, it just had that spark within me to keep it going. But I think I found it again now. So man, with more than ever, man, I'm, I'm more, I'm excited. Looking to bring you guys more and more content, man. Um, I've, I've introduced now the DRZ 400, man. I'm gonna give you an update on what happened to the, the Black Betty. Why she hasn't been in the video. Banshee Project, Dirty Diana, Project Lucille. Man, I got three, four videos ready to drop. So after this one here, man, you can expect another one. No later than, no later than a week from now today. So, man, um, I got a lot of content on the way, man. I've been recording. I just haven't been driving. I've been getting the messages, man. I, I've been getting everything. So, man, don't think that I, if I left any of you guys hanging, man, I apologize for it. 
But uh, we're back now, man, and uh, ready to roll out. We got the whole thing going. So, man, I'm, I'm more excited about that more than anything. Also, follow me on all my social media plat uh, platforms and accounts, man. I got Instagram. I got Facebook. I got Snapchat. I got TikTok, man. I got Twitter. I got all of that, man. You can find them all down in the description, man. Also, man, uh, everything is coming together like I always planned it. So, man, I think 2021, the, the, the later part of this year, excited for all you guys to meet myself more so than anything, man. Like I said, the channel is going to stay in the same direction, but it's going to take a, a turn for the better also, too, though, man, because we're going to do cars. And the bikes. We're gonna do video gaming. We're gonna do it all. All stay tuned. Stay tuned and stick around for appreciate all the love and support, man. The dedication of you know, just sticking around, man. My dedicated fans, my day ones, all you guys have been here from the start. But I not to be so long winded, man. I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video. So stay tuned, man. And uh this is another edition of Boom Vlog Live Five over now. We go. Is it the recording? The... Oh shit. Oh. My bad. I'm gone. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>